Phylaxians are now spacefaring. They are an advanced species and disapprove of your race's past actions. However, they may just be the key to forming a federation, as their powers of persuasion over the other races are non-trivial. Indeed they are. All of my winning... Well, all of my winning games I have won by using the Skylaxians as sort of a, a, a diplomatic force to get uh, to sneak more civilized well races into my federation, and these guys also appreciate money. They have a democratic system. Currently, they are actually pro-war, um, and that's bad because that might mean that they are going to go into war with one of these other guys. And they also don't like Andors and Pelgians all that much. It's weird because Andors are also at a republic. Well, they also have a sort of a democratic system, so you'd think that they would somewhat like each other. But it seems that they don't really care about the other guys. So, that's good. I'm just hoping that they are not going to go into war. Um... I'm actually, I might have to... There are certain ways I can, uh... Like, uh, affect their... Uh, politics. And one way to do that would be to... Uh, actually, can I? That's just tariffs... Local... Huge tax breaks... Uh, I can... I can uh, recall the... Do, 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 do. Okay, so that that would... Uh, uh, that would cause... Some senators to be replaced. That would actually be good, because that might allow us to go... Non-war. Because I don't want a huge interplanetary war to happen right now. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to pay 1,500 credits and get 14 of the. Okay, yeah, that now it it's only 70%. So now they are more pro trade. I'm hoping that the pro trade people are actually against war. And now we have four races in space. And I might just want to work on one of them. I'm actually going to go to the uh, Accusions because they hate me so much. And what I can do, up, oh, yep. The it seems the burlusts immediately started attacking these guys. It doesn't matter. I, I I'm okay with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some work for these guys. So I'm I'm just going to be sitting here, basically wasting time. But but I will get a ton of credits by doing this, and I'm also mining for uranium. So I might be able to sell that later on. At, at the moment it's basically just waiting game because I don't really want to get too many races into space at the same time because that means that I will have to focus on too many things at the same time and I have I have fairly bad multitasking skills. And I also need a lot of credits. Especially if we want to f visit the black market, which we will definitely do. And if we want to use the Skylaxians as a tool to uh, form federations, we are also going to need tons of credits. And I mean tons of credits. It takes about one... Well, I don't think it takes... It takes like, what, uh, 30,000 credits to uh, increase the relations between two... Oh, I could... Oh, this is actually good. Uh, I'm going to steal some... So I need to destroy all of the Obscura... Uh, ships. This, the Obscura is sort of an... A foreign... Uh, alien race. And nobody likes them. But they usually have cures for various kinds of diseases. In this case, the Burlusts want me to steal... Uh, what? what? Okay, so Gravity Lance works best against you, as well as you. So that means that we are going to have to fight closer range... 
uh, with you guys, and also you are super annoying. These guys, the Obscura are usually quite dangerous because they have weaponry that is pretty advanced and at the moment I don't because I haven't researched any technology nor have I bought uh, actually what is the best second best weapon the minigun I might have to switch to that because I can't go that close Well, we're taking hits constantly. Actually, the op uh, Operation Raptor is relatively good against these guys, if I recall correctly. I might just recall correct uh, completely wrong, though. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the Obscura have set up quite the bullet hell for me. Oh, this these guys are actually armored. Well, doesn't matter. I can fire the Giga Cannon. And I missed, I think, yeah. So that's that. And these guys are armored against... Uh, I'm going to have to drop more power into just... Uh, engines to keep myself at close enough range to do any damage. I'm still not doing any sub substantial damage. And yeah, the definitely not enough. I'm going to have to use these. And they are all running after me. I might want to get close and then use the Giga Cannon. Okay, that did plenty of damage. So now I just have to move. And only one hundred thousand. Uh, oh God! Uh, exp I need more power to shields, and now we need to get the hell out of here. Look at my hull. Oh, okay, okay, move. Oh, damn it! Okay, uh, I need more power to shields. That's what. That's what I need. I need to get my shields up. Yeah, these guys are bloody dangerous. At least the... Uh, the storm of enemy fire has sort of subsided, so I, I, I feel a lot safer at the moment. Still not all that safe. And, okay, so... That's cool. I'm going to fire the Giga Cannon second time. But now, now we need to move. So these guys should blow up in two turns. I should probably focus fire. Up, oh, that's bad. Uh. So yeah, this is when the combat gets tricky. So, 6,000. I'm hoping. If that's 6 million. Oh, nope, it's 6,000. Okay, that's first one. Now we need to destroy two more. Uh, uh, three more. Whoa. Oh, yeah, there were four. Forgot. And I think all of my raptors just blew up at some point. And I still have one ammo for the Giga Cannon. Let's go for it. Oh, nope, they increased speed. So we wasted that, so now we won't have the, uh, the ability to use a Giga Cannon anymore. We're gonna have to focus on we have Siphon, so... These guys don't have shields, so we can't use Siphon. Siphon is used to just get shield power from these guys. It's going to drain their shields and... Uh, just... Come towards mine. Uh, okay, this is bad. 
Uh, anything I could use? Orbi orbital bombers? Nah. Not keen on that. So we have more powers. Uh, the siphon it. We, we used the shield power, so that means that we can't use that during this uh, this battle. But it replaced it with siphon because we still have that. I have no idea how to beat how to beat these guys because these guys have weaponry. Sadly, far superior to mine. All of these ships have their own weaknesses, but... For now, it doesn't seem like I'm figuring out these guys' weaknesses too well. They have longer range than me, and... Yeah, I think this might have been a mistake. I'm definitely going to have to upgrade my weaponry. Luckily I have plenty of credits to do that. Okay, and I'm all out of shields once again. These guys are moving this way, so I need to move away immediately. These guys are at 60,000. And there's also this one guy over there. I have no idea what ship that might be. I'm actually going to use this. It's going to, first of all... Okay, what did I get? A shortwave virus. Uh, that takes over small and medium ships. Uh, we have none of those here. We only have these big Obscura guys and I don't think they are affected by such things. Okay, I might be able to take this Obscura out if I get close enough. Ouch! Okay, um... I can also use this as a means to wipe out these bullets, as you probably already saw. So... Uh, okay. Awesome, so that means we only have two more! Don't fly into those things. I, ha I should know, damn it. Okay, we need to navigate safely out of this mess. Uh, recharge our shields and then head back in and destroy that, that one. I think that was like the... Uh, I can't see what the name of that ship was. I think it was like OBS Doku or something. OBS CS Doku, yeah. I think approaching these guys from behind is the best strategy. Doesn't make a huge difference, but it makes a bit of a difference. Okay, now we just need to do this for about five minutes. <laughs> Yeah, this is a bit slow. We should figure out some anti-obscura weaponry. And I'm also going to... Now, nah, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put more stuff into my weapons so that I will do more damage. I might be able to end this a bit faster if I do that. So I'm going to juggle with the power systems a bit. Okay, they are... Okay, I'm going to break off. Because they are changing direction. Oh, that was bad. Damn it! Okay. I'm gonna move... Uh, gonna have to move some power back into shield generation, otherwise I'm dead. And, yeah, that does nothing. Polarity Corruption. For 10 turns, all non-subspace, non-microwave shots become dangerous for to all ships except the one that fired them. Friendly fire, anyone? 
Um, I don't think that's an option. We only f are really fighting against one. That might be a good way to disrupt a bigger battle with more nasties. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go through here. And then... Okay, that that went okay. Not good, not good, but okay. Let's get the shields back and let's go for another attempt. Okay, and that leaves only one left. We've done this for far too long. <laughs> Let's hope that I can catch up to this guy. Actually, I'm gonna put all of the extra power to sh uh, weaponry. Uh, no, engines. I, I can't get this right. So that I can catch up, uh, catch up with this guy a bit faster. I think he's turning. I have no idea what that might be. This has been one scary fight. OB is... Okay, so that's an Obscura disc. These guys are not too bad. These are actually pretty easy. But I'm still going to be uh, very careful. Because who knows. And the Gravity Lance is actually best against you, so I'm going to go with that. This is one of the easiest uh, Obscura ships to destroy. Simply because it has crappy weapons. And one more. There we go. So now the Burlosts got their temporary cure against the Maggot Pox. And they also like us a bit more. Also, let's see how many months we are going to have to wait. So, I definitely want to kill you. So, 36 months. That's uh, that's fine for me, I guess. And I, st I'm still going to work on you. You guys are still kind of... You don't like me too much, do you? Um... Do, do, do. I guess I uh, I don't really want to do any of that stuff, I just want to mine. Because mining doesn't directly affect their combat capabilities too much. It allows them to do some stuff, but as far as I know it's not all that interesting. So we're going to wait a bit more. to be able to do stuff with our Burlust friends. And hopefully I can convince other uh, races to join the Strong Federation. Because otherwise we might end up in a nasty situation where we are going to have to wipe everyone out. Hmm. Yeah. I might have to actually bring the Thoraxians up into space soon, because if we are going to form this federation, we need some enemies. E especially for these guys, because I don't want them to fight against uh, the federation members, and I most definitely don't want to f uh, f want them to fight a non-federation member, uh, other than something they can fight for a while. This is not going to do much for our influence, it's barely noticeable. But it's it, this is going to give us plenty of stuff to trade oh, with. Hey. There's an outbreak. Everyone is locking down their spaceports. Uh, plumbing tubers. Ouch. So yeah, the, it seems the burlusts are getting everything bad here. But that yeah, their medical situation is just horrible. So that it pretty much just explains it. And. Uh, 
they're actually dying really fast. I'm going to have to go in and aid them because they are otherwise they are just going to die. I'm going to provide medical assistance. This is the number of uh, people on this planet. So if that drops down to zero, that means that well, accusations probably take this uh, planet immediately. So we need to keep that up. So now their medical situation is uh, mediocre, so that should keep them alive at least. I'm also going... I think I'm going to also improve their uh, environmental situation just a bit so that the... so that they can support more life on their planet. This is risky business because that means that I'm basically making sure that uh, they will be able to be the dominant uh, crown force. But um, if they are going to end up in my federation, I don't think it matters too much. Also, they are probably going to like me a whole lot once I'm done with this. Yeah, now they are at 130 million, so that should keep them alive for a while. At least they are... Okay, so Ander wants terraforming specs. Uh, that's fine for me. I'm going to get some easy money out of them. At least I hope it's easy. I mean, this is kind of terrible. <laughs> okay. Same strategy, use everything for the engines. And I think I spot a hole through here. Actually, no, that, that space probe is probably going to figure me out soon. So I'm going to just go in, guns blazing. And nobody noticed me because I didn't get caught. And that still keeps them uh, on gr well on ground, but at least they like me a bit more. Also, what's your situation? Do you now accept me? Yes, you do. But first, before I do that, I want to make sure I have some... I uh, know I don't want any combat practice, but I do want a hydro weapon. So, some hydro tech is still in the solar system, even though we were wiped out. And what we can do is we can buy some of that from here. So now we got the disruptor and the spread shot. The disruptor is actually a really good one. So I'm going to customize my flagship. This allows me to change stuff. So instead of energy blasters, I'm going to use disruptors. And instead, actually minigun is not bad. Can I change that to something? No, I don't want to. Uh, polarity corruption might be good for some bigger fights where I'm fighting against someone alone. Yeah, let's hope that I can now defeat this guy. This should give me three... Th actually, we will gain uh, that much with... Hmm. Should I actually... This is just going to increase leverage with the other guys. But it's definitely going to give me... So we have Golter, Modbar, and uh, Rutus. Mm. So Modbar is going to die if I challenge him, and it's going to give me 3000 leverage for the other guy. Federation deals. How much? I have that much with Modbar, so that means I'm going to have to challenge someone else and hope that Modbar does uh, actually stays alive. And I can do this to. That, that's going to decrease my influence, but that is just going to give me instant 3000. Uh, 300 leverage with Modbar, so I think I'm going to take it. I don't care about Rotus all that much. 
And do I care, care about Goldtur? I don't really. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that and... I'm going to kill you. That will give me some more leverage with the Prime. And I'm going to open up with the Disruptors. And I'm also going to increase power to shielding and uh, weapon systems. The Disruptor is a fun weapon, because what it does is it, it affects... Actually, these guys w would be best fought against with the minigun. That's interesting. Disruptors work against electric systems, so shields, and the hull at the same time. So it will be able to wipe out the shields and do some hull damage at the same time. So, as you can see, it does 30,000 uh, shield damage and 50,000 hull damage at the same time. And that's huge. Um, and now it wants me to use the minigun, which is going to do a bit more damage. Like 150,000 damage. That's actually good. And they should be toast soon enough. I mean, it's, uh, it's once again one of the boss ships, so... The boss ships are usually quite sturdy. This guy has like f 5 million uh, health still. But I should be able to wipe them out of the sky soon enough. And that should just give me more influence with the rest of the guys. And actually, that means I can probably push the other guy to give even more stuff for me. So this is how you deal with a warrior race like this. With weapons, of course. These guys only care about the glory that you can obtain on the battlefield. And I'm actually getting destroyed here. I might have to put more power into shield generation once again. Because the weaponry these guys use is quite weird. But it's also very effective. We don't want to fly into this mess here. Well, we kinda did. Well, I can do nothing about that anymore. Okay, and 1,500,000. Let's put more power into weapons. Two 200,000 damage. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, 4,000... 2,000... Or, or rather... 200,000, and that's 9,000, and they are done. So that gives me... 800 leverage... On these guys. And what I can do is I can talk with, say... Rotus. Oh, I can't. Ah, uh, yes I can! So that's going to give me a ton of leverage over Mudbar. And now we just need to get these guys to like each other. Burlost must have 90 plus attitude towards both the Accusions and the Boreans, and both of them must have 90 plus attitude towards the Burlost. The Accusions and Boreans need not like each other. So we just need to get everyone to like. The one feder uh, the one race nobody likes. We can see this situation here. Uh, what I can do, actually, I need a common enemy. That's what I need, and I need a common enemy. 
that will definitely keep everyone busy.